Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to install Java 20 on Windows 11. So let's start. So first I will come to this uh, Chrome and here we will search for Oracle Java and hit enter. I'll come to this first site and click on this. Now it's open. So I'll click on this download Java button. Now here you can see Java 20 is available now. So I'll go down and here you can see we have a Linux version, Mac OS version and Windows version as we are installing it on Windows 11. So I'll click on this Windows. Now we will select the 64 bit installer. So I'll click on this and it will start downloading. So now the download is complete. So I'll click on the show and folder button and it will take us to the folder and now I'll double click on this to install this now the installer open so I'll click on this next and here it will install in C program files Java JDK 20 and now I'll click next now it will take some time to install now the installation is complete so I'll close this I'll close this as well now I'll go to this folder and we will go to this PC and now to C and to program files and here you can see this Java folder is created so I'll click on this Java JDK 20 I'll open this bin folder and now I'll copy this part. I'll control C this now I'll close this I'll close this as well I'll uh, come to the search and here I'll search for environment variables and I will edit the system environment variables now I'll click on this environment variables and here I'll uh, select this path and edit this and create a new path here now I'll control V that path here and click OK now we will create another path so I'll click on this new and uh, I'll uh, name this Java home all in capitals so java underscore home and now I'll come to this and I'll paste the path now we have to remove this bin as well as this backslash and now I'll click ok and click ok here as well now ok this as well we will go here to search and search for cmd to verify our java installation so here i'll search for i'll type java hyphen hyphen version and if the java is installed it will show us the version now you can see it has shown us java 20 which we have installed now i'll check the java compiler so java c and hit enter now java compiler is also installed now we will check the version of java compiler java c hyphen hyphen version and hit enter now java c version is 20.0.2 we will create a new uh, folder here to create java program a new folder i'll name this uh, java demo and now we'll open this and i'll right click and create new and text document as you can see here i'll change the name of this to hello world and as you can see it is showing this uh, extension so i'll change this extension from txt to java if your file is not showing this uh, extension so you can go here to options and uh, to view and you can hide extension for a non file types you can uncheck this now i'll close this i'll right click on this and open with notepad now i'll use here class hello world and now we will use curly braces i'll open curly brace and then close this i'll use uh, public static wide and main and here i will use small brackets so i'll use string and use this augs and i'll close this and now i'll use curly brace and closing curly brace now here we will print hello world so i'll use uh, system dot out dot print ln and here i'll use semicolon and inside double quotes i'll use hello world now i'll control is this to save the file now i'll close this now i'll close this as well so now we will go to command prompt so i'll click on this command prompt and now here i will use uh, i will uh, first go to the directory so i'll use cd desktop enter and i will use dir to watch the directory so our directory name is uh, uh, java demo which is this one so i'll cd java demo and hit enter now i'll dir again and as you can see here we have this hello world dot java file so i'll use java c and i'll use hello world dot java in java we first compile the uh, java program and then run the java program so first we will compile it so if we have any compile time error so it will show so we do not have any error now we will run it so just type java and then hello world and hit enter hello world is not found so i'll use java hello because the class name is java hello world now you can see the hello world is printed and our program runs successfully so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you